Hey, it's Dave Wyman from Wyman and Bob. It's time for Football 101. If you watched last week, I detailed a play where it looked like Geno could have possibly audible to a run because they were overmanned on, uh, on one side. They had five blockers to, for only four defenders, and Geno missed it. And, you know, and actually, you know, they, they talked about talked a little bit about that with, uh, with Shane Waldron, the offensive coordinator. And it was just a, a circumstance that they weren't able to get it done. I'm going to show you a play here where Geno does actually audible and actually we uh, Rabel and I both asked Jen to ask Rashad Penny after the game if that wasn't audible and sure enough Gino checked to a run on the play that we're going to show you but before we get to that Rashad Penny had uh, his game he had 151 yards on 17 carries an 8.9 yard average and two touchdowns he started that game off with a one yard run no gain no gain another one yard run, and then a six yard run. So he had five carries for eight yards in the first half. You could possibly get down on yourself and start to think, hey, this isn't my day. And then he just exploded in the second half. So really uh, just a, a real professional. He's really grown into in his fifth year uh, took a little while, but man, he looks so good. And and also Gino as well. And Gino, uh, just a brilliant check here to this run that we're gonna that we're gonna look at. So let, let's take a look at the at the film here. Here's what's gonna ha end up happening on on this play right here. You can see that um, that the offensive guard right here, uh, Gabe Jackson, he has a, a down block that's easy to make. Um, and then they're gonna let this guy go and run upfield. And what they're going to do is pull the guard, Damian Lewis, over here to kick him out. And then Charles Cross will take this guy. And everybody's pretty much sealed off. Center gets this guy. And it's really a nice pull and a nice scheme that they have right there to kick out this guy. Let him go running up the field and then just a, a knockout block right there. All right, let's take a look at the, the run here. This is just the, uh, them setting up. You see you've got a tight end right here. And th they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys up on the line of scrimmage. So this is a great check by Gino because um, you'll see they, they get a perfect combination of blocking, but they're pretty much bringing the house. It's third and five right now. So it's a great audible by Gino because as you can see, all of these guys up on the on the front line and once you get past that third level there's nobody back here on the second level um, everybody's up on the line of scrimmage and here you can see the the audibles uh, audible has been made by Gino and it's a just a handoff inside he's going to go this way but you, you've got you know like I said all of these guys charging upfield nobody back here on this second level so uh, you'll see the play develop here, and it's just a thing of beauty. I love this shot right here. So what, what ends up happening is um, you get a, a block down right here, and then um, the guard, uh, Damian Lewis, pulls over here. This guy goes flying upfield. Um, you get a seal block right here and then a seal block right there, just a, a perfect little alleyway right there. And, you know, these two, these guys off the back edge, you just let them go because the ball is long gone and there's Penny running up into, uh, looks like the, the A-gap right between the center and the guard. The thing I like about this shot right here is you can see Penny, there's a defensive back uh, back here, but you can see that he's starting to set him up. But, but again, once you're past that first level, He's off to the races, so just a really good call by them. But you can see him starting to set up the defensive back a little bit with a little, a little uh, wiggle to the outside, and then we'll see him cut it back. And I'm sorry to do this to the Detroit Lion defensive back, but that's a really bad position to be in right there. I think I've been in that position a few times with missed tackles in the open field. But the thing that, that I like about it was that for Penny, it was such a natural, easy poised move kind of like what I talked about with uh, with Gino uh, when he scored on the the quarterback draw he just waited he was patient he let his blockers set up and was able to just calmly pick the the proper side same thing with with Rashad Penny here who just you know runs up 
gives him a little fake and then heads right back outside. But yeah, you can see that he has just entirely broken down this Detroit Lions defensive back. And here is Rashad off to the races. And actually, DK Metcalf kind of holds up on this because you never know. What if you get a helmet to helmet or something like that? So he ends up just letting the, the defender uh, go. And he knows that Rashad Penny already has enough momentum and speed to get past him. So kind of a, a good move, I thought, a veteran move there by DK Metcalf to just not do anything. You don't need to, don't need to do it. I mean, Rashad has already done all the work. And had to put this one in here with Austin Blythe uh, just raising his hand right there. And just a, a huge moment in a 41-yard touchdown. And look, the Seahawks needed every point. They end up winning 48-45. to 45. But this guy right here and in his interview afterwards on the radio was really calm and cool. He wasn't too excited. He doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. Great check by Gino on this play. And uh, a really nice to see, especially a guy like Rashad Penny, who had struggled at times in the first four years of his career, have a, just a banner day. And like I said before, he's very patient about you know the first half. Things weren't really clicking for him. And then the second half, it was off to the races.